What goes into a decision like hosting a first ever league wide pro day? Because it feels like just a massive undertaking. Yeah, well, first of all, good to be with you. Um, certainly for us, we um, when Brett got here uh, almost two years ago, uh, his idea was for us to be different, innovative, and and provide opportunities that are different for our student athletes than any other conference. Um, so when he got here, this was his idea, um, and we began the conversation with the NFL a year ago on how to create a, a, a league-wide pro day, and we've done that. Uh, we're excited about this week's event. Um, we have 137 Big 12 football players from all over the Big 12 Conference, uh, over 130 NFL scouts, head coaches, general managers, scouts from the UFL, scouts from the Canadian Football League. Um, so it's going to be a great event for student athletes and uh, certainly uh, excited about the opportunity for them. But it's been a team effort for sure. Um, but I, I have to, you know, I have to say, that our partnership with the NFL uh, and what they've done and what the resources they've brought to bear have made this event really uh, one of a kind. And so we're super excited to see what it comes out to be this week and, and uh, look forward to the opportunity for our players. Forever, it was that scouts from NFL teams would just go to all of the individual schools and do it that way. So now that it's in one location, in Fresco, Texas, at the Star, and it's 137 different Big 12 players. How did the league respond when they were presented with this idea? Because logistically, a top of mind is like, oh, man, they, they must love this because maybe it reduces some travel and them having to, like, scout fewer schools. I, I don't know. What, what kind of feedback have you gotten in that regard? Yeah, initially, you know, because there wasn't a lot of information about it, they had a lot of questions, the, the, the clubs did. Um, but as we've made ourselves available to them, uh, I've talked to a number of them over the last six months um, and, and shared our vision of what we want this to be. And really what, what it is for them is, is and I've assured them that their, their opportunity to do their work, which is to find the, the, the diamond in the rough, uh, have a private interaction with a player to learn more about them uh, so they can do their job uh, well for their their, uh, their NFL team, that we were gonna provide that to them. And so when they learned that, when they embraced it, they've leaned in, um, a handful of, of key scouts have, have really led our effort the last probably month and a half of planning for the field drills. Um, as I mentioned, 130 plus scouts will be there. They'll run the drills. And so they had to buy into it. Um, and certainly for them, you know, it does cut down on travel. It does allow them to, to be a part to see 137 players in one setting. And so I think, I think they've, they've embraced it over time. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm excited to see what the reaction is when they, when they see all those players on the field and they have an opportunity like the combine to be a part of uh, player interviews. And really, what we've shared with them, it's like it's like the NFL combine, but not not as big, obviously, in terms of this, the size and the scale. But it certainly is. We built it and modeled it right after the NFL combine. So from from that perspective, they feel comfortable and familiar that they're going to get their job done. In terms of media coverage, because I know so many football fans, they love to turn on the NFL Network and listen to Rich Eisen and his crew and watch all the different players on the different days compete in the events. Like, what's the media access and exposure going to be like or what you're hoping it will be like this first go around? Well, the NFL Network is covering the event um, uh, for us. So they'll be not live, but they'll be uh, part of the event on Thursday. They're bringing their entire draft uh, talent team to Frisco. Um, they'll cover it just like they covered at the NFL Combine. They'll um, commentate on the, on the players, on the drills, the performances of the players, have player features. Um, and so they'll repackage those shows and, and those, those shows will appear uh, Thursday and Friday evening this week at, at eight, eight Eastern. Um, and then the Saturday drills they'll cover as well and be part of the path to the draft coverage that they have leading up to the draft, which is a daily show that they have during the month of April. So for, for us, um, you know, that's, that's just on the NFL network side. We have 80 plus members of the media, to uh, live radio programs. I, I understand you guys are coming as well. Oh yeah. So certainly, certainly appreciate all the coverage that we have. Uh, national media will be here. Certainly the the uh, men's regional is in town in Dallas. So we'll get some, uh, with the University of Houston is participating. So we'll get some, some crossover there as well. So plenty of media opportunities, plenty of exposure for the athletes is really what this is about. Not only will all 32 teams be there, but the NFL Network, and so uh, you know, for them to be able to showcase 
what they can do. And really, this is a job interview. That's how we're we're planning it and focusing our our, our time and, and effort on making sure that that they can have the best environment possible to do the very best they can to achieve their goals. And so we're excited about the opportunity. And I'm glad you brought up Houston playing basketball in Dallas in the heart of the Big 12. You know, I know a couple guys from BYU that are going to be there covering football that just might, you know, want to, like, go over and watch Houston play uh, at America Airlines Arena. So we may have to have a conversation about that later. Happy to help. Happy to help. Scott Draper is the vice president of football in the Big 12 Conference and doing a fantastic job uh, pushing out the vision of the great Brett Yormark. I know there was some trepidation about this from individual schools at first because it's like, oh, man, like, well, are we going to be able to bring all of our guys? Like, what Like, what? What about the guys that aren't invited? Like, and, and they still have NFL dreams. What do we do here? So how did you balance those type of conversations as you got ready for this? Yeah, it was really simple. Um, if you were on a 2023 Big 12 roster, you were eligible to come to Big 12 Pro Day. So um, the, the schools... Um, you know, that was that was the limiting factor. You had to be on a, a, a Big 12 roster in the 2023 season. So kids that may not have been starters are participating in Pro Day. Their dream is to play in the NFL. Uh, they have an opportunity to showcase their talents in front of all 32 teams. And I think the one thing that, that's really important for us to keep in mind is that not all of the campus Pro Days would have all 32 teams and 130 scouts. If you had... Uh, a, a no-brainer first-round draft pick in your program, you would get that level of commitment, but not every year that occurs across the Big 12. So for every player that plays in the Big 12 to be able to perform in front of all 32 teams, head coaches, uh, general managers, and really that then um, those measurables, that video that's being taken at the, at the uh, combine, all the pro player tracking um, that's done via the NFL, what they do at the combine is part of this event. Uh, unique opportunities to um, have club interviews um, on, on your session days. So all of those additional elements are, are additive to what a, a, a campus pro day would be like. So we had to do some education, not unlike the NFL scouts with our, our own members to say, hey, you know, you're going to get what you need and your players are going to get what you need to be able to do what's right for your players and your, and your program. And so we have um, made ourselves available to, to answer every question. And we've, you know, we're in this together and we've tried to find solutions to every problem can't fix everything but we've done the best we can to make sure that the experience for the players and for the nfl clubs is exactly what they want it to be and need to be so we're excited to see what happens and we're excited to execute this weekend scott i have to ask because brett yormark is such a mover and a shaker and you work in very close proximity with him what's it like to have him as the commissioner of the big 12 and your working relationship with him yeah, I, so thanks for the question. I got hired just after Brett got hired. Brett hired me. So my background this is my 32nd year of college football, and I've never worked with anybody that has the energy and vision that he has. Uh, and so to be able to sit alongside him um, and as well as the rest of our team here, to be able to execute his vision and to build out um, what we think is, the, the you know, we certainly have – a great football product. We certainly have uh, the desire to compete at the highest level, and we do compete at the, at the highest level in football uh, with the new members coming in. Uh, and so we're, you know, for, for with 16 teams uh, going into the fall, um, all of them have an opportunity to play for a national championship, win a Big Ten, Big 12 championship, and have a chance to um, be in the playoff. Uh, and we're going to do everything we can to support that. His vision supports that. His vision is not only uh, to support, you know, the, the most immediate, but um, we talk every day about how uh, how we can grow in the future in terms of uh, being different and providing a, uh, an experience for our student athletes that is exceptional. That's our goal. That's our job. And so, um, yeah, he's been fun to, to work with, but um, uh, truly one of a kind and and excited and happy to be a part of his team. Well, no doubt. You have been a very, very busy man, and uh, the buildup has been so fun for a unique event like this, Scott. So, you know, uh, Brett, yes, he brings the idea, but you're the man that executes it. So uh, I guess you sleep in May, too, after the NCAA tournament, after Big 12 football pro days get over? 
Well, um, I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that opportunity to, to get some sleep, but no, we've got football uh, uh, in spring visits. I've got a, uh, we've got a, a coaches meeting. So yeah, life never, never is a dull moment here. I mean, that's how we want it. You know, the, I, I, I was on campus for the first half of my career. So I know how, uh, how hard everyone works on campus. And so um, uh, I, my job is to work as hard or harder than they do to help them and set them up for success. So I'm um, excited for the spring, spring meetings and, and uh, the, the tail end of spring football. But we've got a lot of work to do to get ready for Big 12 Media Day in Las Vegas this year. And then the kickoff of our season, uh, you know, with our 16 members. So I'm um, excited to get, get at it and get, get ready to go and hope to see you uh, in Frisco. Look forward to seeing you in Vegas as well. Absolutely. Scott Draper is the vice president of football in the Big 12 Conference. We'll finish with this question. Because the Big 12 is leading the path here, for this unique Big 12 conference, first conference-specific Pro Day event. What type of impact do you expect this to have on maybe some other conferences across the country? Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure exactly, but, I, you know, we're first, and so we'll, we'll be always a, a one year ahead of everybody, which is good for us. Um, I think one of the things that's important um, that we've, in, in our DNA, uh, because of Brett's vision, is to be different and to create a different experience uh, for our student athletes. So I, I'm, I'm always hopeful that whatever we do, um, if, you know, if folks uh, copy that vision, that's their right and prerogative to do. But I can always tell you that we'll always be one step ahead because of, of Brett's vision and the work that we're doing. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, it, you know, if that works out great. But for us, we're focused on getting it right for our student athletes. Scott, we certainly appreciate the time and your very, very busy schedule. Look forward to seeing you in Frisco and, as you mentioned, in Las Vegas this summer as we gear up for BYU and their second year in the Big 12. Thanks for the time. You bet. Thank you.